So Deck Heggy has put out a statement and I was reading the comments on it. Bear with me train. And one of the comments said, you are only there because you have overstayed your visa. He is not there because he has overstayed his visa. He is at the immigration detention center because he is undesirable in the Philippines. Now, the Filipino immigration have blacklisted him due to his past S offense from all them years ago. That is why they've blacklisted him, because of that. He's an undesirable in their country. If it was for overstaying his visa, he would already be home. So that's that out of the way. Bear with me. What would it be like for DH in the detention center right now? Well, let me tell you this. It's extremely hot in there. And extremely boring. Now I say this because when I was there, I was allowed my phone with me 24 seven. And that was because it was very corrupt back then. It is still corrupt today, but it's a lot stricter. So now you're only allowed your phone for one hour a day. Some people will have their phones within 24 seven, but the only people that will have a phone within 24 seven is those inmates that have been there years and years and years and are trusted enough to be able to keep their phones and not grass on immigration staff. Dekahegi will not be a trusted inmate. If he was to stay there for more than six months, maybe he could do this. But new inmates will never ever be able to have their phones these days with them 24 seven. So he would be extremely bored extremely bored it's only a small place and there is a pool table but it's very difficult to get on there very difficult yeah you might be able to play cards dominoes but if you haven't got a phone or a tv then it's going to be very difficult to watch anything and i think there is a tv in there but the problem is you can't really hear the sound and even if you could hear the sound it's all in tagalog so somebody like DH would not be able to understand that language so that's another thing it would be so 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 boring and I guess even if you're going to do fitness in there you're probably not going to do more fitness than two hours so and then visits visits are far few in between um, there isn't many visits these days even though COVID is over in the Philippines, they are still acting like it's COVID rules. Um, so yeah, bear with me. DH's money situation. I believe now that his money may be drying up. He probably got one good YouTube payment probably the month that he was in there. And he probably got another month payment after that but I bet it wasn't as much as he normally gets and probably this month he probably was next to nothing next to nothing maybe so I think money would be very dry at the moment for him and without money in the detention centre it's even worse because I reckon up till now that he would have been having takeaway food and that costs money, especially when you're ordering breakfast, lunch and dinner every day. It costs a lot of money and you also need to pay extra to the person that orders the food and brings it into the, into the detention centre. So money would be extremely tight. Bear with me. Also, if he's paying for a legal team over there, that's another thing. If you're using all your money to pay a lawyer in the Philippines, that's another thing. You're gonna have less funds to be able to support yourself whilst you're in the detention center. And these lawyers can literally rip and rip and rip money off you. They, they just can. So unless somebody is supporting DH with cash or sending money to him, then it's gonna be difficult for him to be able to survive in the detention centre. 
Of course he will survive because you get one meal a day. But you're gonna lose extreme amounts of weight if you only eat the food the detention center provides to you. I'm just gonna cut back. Now, do I believe my five cases against DH? Now, I'm gonna say this now. I don't know what's happened because I can't read Marty's mind. However, my opinion is that he never did file any cases. My opinion is that he maybe thought about it at first, but then once he realized that he could be in trouble himself, he didn't file them. That is my honest opinion. I could be wrong. I'm just putting that out there, but I don't believe he did file a case against him, in my honest opinion, because I don't think Marty's stupid, and his lawyer definitely would have knew if, once you're arrested, any charge brought after that would be thrown out. Unless his lawyer knew and didn't tell Marty just to get more money off him. But from the picture that i seen of his lawyer, that is a top lawyer. And I wouldn't think them type of lawyers would do that type of thing just to take money off you because they don't need to get money like that. But then again, no matter how much money you have, you always want more. So, yeah, another thing. So, I don't believe that DH would be held there now because of Marty. Not a chance, not a chance at all. However, do I believe he would have a criminal charge placed on him, placed on him from, thing, from the things he did on camera? I really don't know. I would, I would probably lean towards not. If I was to guess, I would say, I don't think they are gonna file any cases on him, criminal cases. So why do I think this? Well, because from having spoken to our friends in the detention center, they are all under the impression that he has no case at all, at all. Now, if he was having criminal charges placed on him, maybe the police would have visited him or he would have been told by his lawyer. The detention center is a very small place. So people talk, they hear stuff. They would know if he had a charge because the inmates, some of the people that have been there years and years, are very close to the staff. They know about everybody's case. And once they find out about the case, they tell other inmates in the detention centre. So the word would have got around, he would have had a charge. So I don't believe he is going to be held there for any criminal charge. That is my opinion. I believe he will be coming back home as soon as they've sorted out his deportation order and MBI checks. Now, <laughs> the next thing I'm going to say um, could be totally out there. And you might be thinking, what the hell am I going on about? <laughs> but just bear with me and I'll explain. So do I believe there is a trolling campaign? A big trolling campaign that the police are involved in? Do I believe this? So yeah, this is what I think. Or am I a spy? And I really know more than I've been telling you. But let me just tell, put my take on it. The people that have been making videos against Decker Heggy, they don't need to worry. That's just YouTube and for entertainment. However, the people that have had physical contact or done malicious crimes in person or anybody that's orchestrated these crimes, I do believe something is going on in the background. Now that is just my opinion and I could totally be wrong, but that is what I tend to believe. So it's not some kind of conspiracy that I'm thinking in my head. I just tend to believe that is what's going to happen. And I can explain more as the days go on, but I can't really explain anything right now. <sighs> and you'll understand when I say it later on. But yeah. Um, 
yeah, I'm just trying to give you updates when I get them. Keep you in the loop, to be honest. Because you know what? I don't believe that any criminal cases are being placed on DH in the Philippines, but I don't think there is any paperwork regarding Dekahegi. In the Philippines, I mean. I don't know about the UK, uh, but in the Philippines, there is no crimes. Anything is done on camera, there is nothing. Nothing at all. And I've spoke to four different people that have all said the same thing. He has nothing. Zero. Nothing. There is no case that Marty has filed. Nothing. They don't know nothing about it. I would have I would have heard about it. They would have told me. I speak to him every day. Every day asking for updates. There is nothing. <laughs> so yeah. But yeah. Um bear with me and the last thing I wanted to talk about when DH gets back to the UK would he be remanded most likely he would be remanded yes because as video Craig said um, well hedgehog man now <laughs> he's deemed a flight risk he left to the Philipp he left the country to flee to the Philippines and didn't come back to the UK so yeah, he would probably would be remanded. Um, and then, once he is sentenced for a driving offence, I don't think he'll do long. I think he may end up getting a suspended sentence, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's going to be severely aggravated because he's fled the country. But he's got mental health conditions, etc. He's been in a Filipino detention centre, so they'll probably put that into account. Some judges don't, but some judges will. Some judges will take the time you spent in a detention centre. It all depends on what type of judge you get and how sympathetic they are towards you. So, you could end up with a suspended sentence. You see, these days, especially now since Covid, the government don't want to send people to prison unless they get over 12 months. And anything under two years, the judge can suspend so, and even if he did get 12 months in prison, he would only have to do half of that, which is six, and then you take away four months. So he would pop, if you got a 12 year, 12 month sentence, you're only doing two and a half months in prison, you're getting out on tag. So, even if he does come back this year, he will probably be back on YouTube. I, my guess is <laughs> probably around June, July. That's if he gets back within the next month or so, and could be before then. Because I don't believe that he will get a long time in prison. Just because these days they don't like giving people small sentences and a driving offence. I don't know the ins and outs of it, um, but he could suspend the sentence. Especially if Deck Hegg has never been to prison before. Um, because they'll go off that. Yeah, he's got criminal history. I don't know whether he's been to prison or not. He may well have been, I don't know. But... I don't believe that he'll get a long sentence for a driving offence, even if it is dangerous driving. Because I remember in 2008, I had dangerous driving, common assault, driving without a licence, driving no insurance. And I got um, conditional discharge, and I was at Crown Court. So, you can get away with driving offences. You don't normally get sent to prison for driving offences. Even di dangerous driving, you don't. Unless you're disqualified, and then you go driving a car, and then do dangerous driving. So, he'll probably get remanded, but then when he goes to court and pleads guilty, he'll probably get out. That is what I think, anyway. But yeah, anyway, I could be totally wrong. I don't know the full facts. And like I said, Everything I say on this video is opinion. It's not a fact. So if I've, um, if you think that I've um, said anything in disrespect to anybody, I haven't. It's just my opinion, and I could be wrong. And everybody's entitled to express their opinion. And these are my opinions. So yeah, and um, big up Dr. Rappel. Respect people.